Right now, a little boy is in rough shape at a hospital burn unit after a freak accident during a camping trip. Fox 35 Stephanie Buffamonte explains what happened and what happens next for that two year old boy. The little boy's mom tells me her son Finney is in good spirits. Here he is with his bandages. You can see on his legs and his arm there. He's hanging out with his big brothers, Waylon and Weston, at the hospital today. The brothers who saved him from even worse burns. When I grabbed him, that his pants were like melting. They were like a nylon material and they were melting. They melted to me and I ripped them off. A panicked mother, Tabitha Shea's two-year-old son, Finney, had burns to his legs and hand. He was playing and running around with a bubble machine when he fell backwards into a fire pit during a family camping trip on New Year's Day. She rushed her little boy to the hospital. And I just threw my car in park, grabbed my little naked burnt baby and ran as fast as I could inside. The St. Cloud parents tell me Finney has second and third degree burns to 18% of his body. But doctors say if his brave brother didn't get him out as quickly as he did, it would have been much, much worse. He grabbed Finney's sweater and he told me, Mom, it, it took me a second to process what was happening. And then I said, oh, my God. And I just pulled him out. And somehow he managed to do that without getting any boo-boos on himself, which is a miracle. Um, but we are very, very proud of him. Finney's dad, Jeff, says it's been really hard on them. Oh, he just randomly ran backwards straight into a fire. You know, the chances that happened, there's, but, you know, mm. it's, uh, it's, it's hard not to blame yourself at first. Finney is on his road to recovery at Shands Hospital in Gainesville. His parents are overwhelmed by the support they've gotten from hospital staff, friends, and family. I thought I had a handful of friends, and it turns out I have a whole village of friends. I'm so happy and relieved that uh, how many people have reached out to us for help. I, I, from the bottom of our hearts, we really appreciate it. The family lives in St. Cloud, so his mom will be staying in Gainesville while Finney continues to get treatment at Shands. They do have a donation page set up to help with expenses. It's still going to be a long road to recovery, but this family is thankful they have each other. In the studio, Stephanie Buffmonte, Fox 35 News. Thanks a lot, Stephanie.